There you go. Okay, I'm unmuted. Yay. All right, it's uh, it's 501, haha. And uh, it's Watch Me Work, I'm SLP. And we're gonna do what we do every time we do this. We uh, hang out and work together on our various projects for 20 minutes. And then we use the rest of the hour for you uh, to for you to ask me questions about your work and your creative process. It's just that simple and it's so effective, it's amazing. And so if you have questions about your work and your creative process, uh, is Zoe or is it Zoe? Is it, how, do, do you say Zoe or do you say Zoe? So sorry, hi everyone, my name is Zoe Kim. My pronouns are she, her. I'm just um, covering for Lolly today and um, please have grace and patience with me as I have uh, not done this before. So if I'm if I'm taking a moment to answer your questions, um, it's because I'm I'm figuring it out. So thank you, thank you for your patience in advance, um, Susan. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad, Zoe, that you're here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start working, and we'll just all work together for twenty minutes. Here we go.
All right, all right. It's that time. So should someone have questions, you can um, either raise the raise your hand button or you can wave and Zoe will unmute you and you can ask it. That's how we usually do it. Um, if anybody has any questions, if not, I'll make faces. Oh, Lynn has a question, so I, I think, hey, Lynn, Lynn's waving, or is she just waving? He's just waving. If, if you could unmute her, Zoe, please. I just unmuted me. I I have I have hey. questions. I first of all, it's lovely to see you. Great to see you. Yes, I. Where I, are you? I'm at home. Okay. I'm at home. no I'm on the West Coast. It was very exciting. You're on the West Coast. No, you oh, look like you're you in Brooklyn. The, I said once you were on the West Coast, you were visiting a friend. I remember. Yes, 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 yes. My friend Winnie, yes, um, a great writer. Anyway, um, I find that I'm all I'm writing about is my family. I mean, I guess that's all I. It's not that it's all I think about, but these snapshots of moments in my life uh, come to me like fully blown little mini scenes and i i don't know what they are i mean i know they're like they're like memory they're, they're like memories but they're scenes and and i don't know how to put them together you know so what's great is that they're coming to you. What's great is that it sounds like you're writing them down, right? Yes, I am. So I, I have my with my timer. Yes. There you go. See, there you go. So you you don't, but you don't have to worry about how to put them together, do you? I mean, well, you do. Well, you are worrying about how to put them together, but I'm here to tell you that you don't have to worry about putting them together. Just write okay. them down. okay yes there, there i mean right there's so many ways to organize things yes but, but uh, if if you haven't written them all down you you maybe you need to get to the point where you go i've written enough of them i feel like i've i've completed the task of writing them now i'm going to get into the task of organizing them and how does one do that organize them Yes. <laughs> get finish. Get to the task. Finish writing them. No. Yes. 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 I. I. I understand what you're saying. It's. It's. Uh, it's. It's endless. It's like it's seeing a movie endless. over again. It, it might be endless, and then then you won't ever have, have to worry about organizing them because you'll always be writing them. Okay. It's just. I. It's like it. What sounds like it sounds like you're having a, a, such a huge amount of joy and ease in writing these. Is that is that correct? Yes. Sometimes you know, uh, sometimes pain, but mostly joy because uh -huh. they're delicious. You know, and you know, I find out I'm so Jewish. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I'm. I'm so surprised that I'm so Jewish, you know, this, this is, this, anyway, anyway, I'm taking too much time. Oh, you that's interesting. So you're, you're, it sounds like you're, I mean, I, I'm guessing that you are Jewish. It wouldn't be like me finding out. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just sort of guessing that, um, right? Yes. Um, okay. So, so you're discovering things, you're, you're sort of just getting deep into your own self. I guess yes, 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 yes. yes. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but, but, but right. So here's a question, Lynn. So what? So it's it's a relatively enjoyable process that you're having with writing right now, right? Okay. Absolutely. So, so 
not make it complicated by introducing a, an aspect of the process that's not even part of the process. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm going to get very black on you. Girl, keep it simple. Don't be <laughs> making it complicated. Why you got to be doing that, right? Just chill. <laughs> keep it simple. You don't have to make it something that it's not. <laughs> Just right. You're having fun. What could be better? Oh my goodness. Enjoy it. Thank you. You're welcome. And I just bet you you're gonna reach a point where you go, ha, huh, I'm, I'm I'm good with the okay, I'm good. I, I have a nice bundle of of these short, you know, snapshots, whatever you call them. And and then we can talk about how you're gonna order them and organize them. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. I've missed you and I love you. <laughs> Likewise, likewise. Right back at you. Thank Good you. Question. question. It's it's I mean it's just to fill the space to get another question. It's like you're you're writing um did we talk about it last week? You're writing your play or your novel or your song, or whatever, and you're looking over your shoulder, kind of trying to gauge what the audience might be thinking. You know, that's a it's an important thing to think about at some point, but not while you're writing the thing. So the same thing. So it, sometimes we get consternated because we combine process, we combine aspects of writing that actually don't need to be combined. They can be separated, and that would make them. Uh, us happier and the process more effective. Looks like Larry's got a question. Awesome. Hello, how are you? How are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah, it's really good to see you too. It's been a long time. I've been, uh, you know, my cycle is that I teach during the year and get consumed and travel for a bit. Huh? And then, then I have a little bit of summer and then I come back to my, as you may, you may re or may not remember my Sisyphean Sisyphean Sisyphus play. So oh, yeah. um, I just really, I didn't really have a question. I just kind of wanted to share something you said to me that really helped and spread the, spread the love because you gave me a mantra or like an um, affirmation. And you said to me the last time I checked in with you, um, because, you know, I've been working on this for a long time and you just gave me this very unlocking kind of affirmation you said uh i am finding ways to finish beloved projects mm -hmm. and i've just been saying i have been finding ways to finish beloved projects and i just wanted you to know that i've had a lot of um unlocking of uh barriers that i've been struggling with and have now an outline uh, you also once gave me the advice of stop writing and edit because i have way too much material and so I have like an outline and all the material I think to plug into that outline exists. So I'm just at this like precipice of like that feeling of, oh, I think I know what to do. Um, so I'm just looking forward to the, the time ahead because I feel um, uh, a, a sense of direction and clarity. And a lot of it came from uh, you know, bringing my problems here. And I just wanted to thank you. I'm so proud of you, Larry. Can, yeah, you, can like, we give, I, like this Larry, love, I love this. I love the gesture. Can we, can we uh, think of an, another mantra? Like I, I know what to do and I'm enjoying my writing. I know what to do. I know, I know what to do and I'm enjoying my process. Yeah. i like your gesture too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you, know? you so much. Uh huh. What? I, will, I just said I I I just appreciate that, and I, I will definitely use your your latest mantra. Yeah. I know well, what to your... do, and I'm enjoying my process. Yeah, yeah, just like that, you know. And that's again. I mean, when we can always use that, you know, just when we use those those that positive self talk. I know it. it and positive self-talk it's interesting it's great larry because your mantra it's effective because you combined a mantra with action you actually you weren't just sitting around or at a cocktail party with a drink in your hand running your mouth you know what i'm saying you were actually 
allowing your words to make themselves manifest you know and that's really really great so you combine your your positive self-talk or mantras or self-hypnosis or whatever you want to call it you combine it with action and it helps you get there so well done good thank job you. thank you really and appreciate the cool it. thing about that oops sorry and the cool thing about that is once you realize that that kind of thing works you can keep using it because that's the spirit saying hey you're on to something larry <laughs> <laughs> come on yeah you know, it's like yeah, yeah. you know mm -hmm. totally. appreciate job. you and appreciate this thing that is here thank you likewise so do i love you just <laughs> yeah look see lynn's happy also started thinking Ace, I think last week you were were you asking about like this kind of play or this kind of play? Was that I'm just you don't have to answer. You can just like nod your head or if you, you I mean I'm not putting you on the spot, but I just wanted to share something with the group that um what happens in one's you know career, if you want to call it that, or one's practice is that we as much as we can, we need to do the things that we want to do. Because say you really, really don't want to write, you know, uh, the horror films, right? You want to write rom-coms, but you write one horror film because it's going to, you know, you think that's what you should do. It doesn't even pay much. You're just going to do it anyway. You start, you, someone's going to call you up to write another one. And before you know it, you're going to be writing horror films and wishing that you had been writing rom-coms. See what I mean? It's interesting. If we really gotta, we gotta put out into the world as much as we can, the thing, the kind of thing that we wanna do. Uh, I was hanging out with a, a former student a minute ago, earlier today, and she said, I wanna direct music videos. And so I'm gonna wait for someone to come to me with a band. And I said, well, do you know anyone who plays an instrument? She said, well, yeah. I said, well, do they sing a song? She said, well, yeah, but they haven't written their own. It's a Harry Styles song. And I said, well, why don't you make a music video of your friend singing a Harry Styles song? You're starting to do the thing that you want to do, right? And then you, you get called in a way to do more of it. So it's, it's always best to err on the side of the things that you would like to do rather than the things that you don't want to be doing. You know, but it's what I'm discovering. Anyway, so thank you for that, Ace, because I was thinking of you when I was talking to her, going, "Hey, just do the thing you want to do." You know, do the thing you want to do. So it's it's helpful. Anybody else? I'll make faces. Hello. I was doing my eye exercises. Yeah. Yeah. Did, am I unmuted? Yes, you are. Louise, yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So, again, I'm making a comment. And um, I let me just preface this by saying uh, I found out about, well, I remember vaguely when you reading about your starting Watch Me Work some time ago. Okay, so I put that aside. And then when the pandemic hit, a friend of mine told me, she said, oh, check out Watch Me Work. So I started checking out Watch Me Work in 2020, off and on. And um, so what I found, though, is that my powers of observation mm -hmm. have, uh, and I think I brought this up before, have like, grown stronger 
because I just kind of tune in to conversations and tune in to people. And um, I live uptown and some of what I see, I mean, there are wonderful things about it, but there's some things that I see that are just like not pretty at all. You know, there's, there's kind of no way to spin it. And there's this neighborhood guy, you know, I don't, I don't have to tell the group about, it's actually going on all over the country. You know, these people who should be institutionalized, whatever. But anyway, focusing on this one guy who's in the neighborhood who begs, you know, he has raggedy clothes. And one day I was going to the store and he was just like out there on the street sleeping. Half his clothes hanging off. And I, I, I but then what happened was I was going in one di direction and so on. I was coming back in the other direction. It was like he woke up and it was like, all right, time to get up, time to get up. You know, gotta gotta go begging. That's that's what I do. That's what I do. Gotta get up. And he got up, and next thing I know, he was gone around the corner. So that just like really kind of got to me in the sense that, you know, because we can always judge where a person's at, what they're feeling, what their motivations are, but maybe just observing some someone, not that they're not in pain or suffering or whatever, but from their point of view. And I can surmise that just in terms of however you create, of uh, just having that kind of openness. And I just credit listening to all the people, listening to your pearls of wisdom that you drop, um, that um, it's been helpful personally, you know, um, as I just, you know, just go about my business in the world and with my work. I'm so pleased to hear that. What a beautiful story about the, the one of the people who lives in your neighborhood. Yeah, so you go, like, you know, this is, this is what I do. This is who I am, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that is a story within itself, but it just, it just, it just was something to behold. Mm -hmm. And how much, it sounds like how much you learn or how much we all can, I mean, you, you help us remember how much we all can learn by it, something I was reading a couple of weeks ago. What if every thought in my head were either positive, optimistic, compassionate, or kind? Mm -hmm. or or some variation of that you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that yeah so you you can look at the the fellow on the street and see him with compassion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of something else right. Right, right, right right see him with kindness you can just like like i say you can just put some love on it yeah 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 it was just really really interesting but then you see i i write it down you know because mm -hmm. you forget the things that influence you that happened to you you know so anyway mm -hmm. you write it down and what what but what the compassion that you you can show the stranger right because mm -hmm. you were showing him compassion by withholding like you know we can all I mean, you know talk about you know i can put my hands on my hips and work my neck and say something about somebody right mm -hmm. but by withholding that and giving that person instead some love or some compassion you're also uh, becoming more compassionate to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're also teaching yourself to become more compassionate to yourself. And the more compassionate you are to yourself, the better, the easier it is to get a first draft done because you're not so judgy, you know, or we are not so judgy, you know what I mean? The easier it is to get that second draft done, make time in the day for to get the work done, all those things. If you're kind to some stranger, right? It's easier for you to be kind to yourself and the kind you are to yourself and the easier it is to get your work done. So, so just be selfish like that. 
Okay. Yes. No, just be kind, you know, kindness and compassion is just a way of like helping yourself, you know, What's love yourself. You know, that's really cool. Yeah. That's great. Thank you for that. That's so great. Thank you, Louise. You're welcome. Wow. She looks so smart today. I just wanted to, I was so moved by Louise's uh, experience and I, it reminded me why I love New York, you know, and reminded me of one of these moments in my life when I was um, walking home one night, it was really cold, it was winter, it was just, you know, and you just wanted to get home. And um, I saw this homeless woman. It was so cold that when I looked at her face, uh, I saw that there was like a, a little icicle on her lashes. That's how cold wow. it was, one of those winters. And wow. I said, how are you doing? What do you need? And she said, I need food. She was living in a shelter with her kids. And I said, well, let's go, you know? And she looked at me like I was crazy, you know? And I said, come on, come on, come on. And it was a, a moment in my life that I'll never forget because here was this lovely woman and we went to a, you know, a supermarket. I said, just get what you need, get what you need for the kids. And we walked through and, and, and she was very shy in the beginning. She, she had a, you know, we had a cart and she was very shy. She was just getting canned foods and stuff like that for the kids. And, and as she relaxed, I said, no, really, you know, just whatever, you know, it's really cool. I, I had a good job today, you know, <laughs> just want to share it with you. And all of a sudden this shriveled, cold, uh, you know, lovely woman started to relax and I saw her and she was full of life. She wasn't this, this homeless woman who we often pass on the street. She was full of life and she started getting things that maybe would be more than she needed, which was great. And, and then she reached for a, a carton of cigarettes and she looked at me like I was going to judge her. I said, man, you know, go for it, go for it. It's bad for you, but go for it. And we left there with bags and I took her to the shelter and, and she said, I just, I'm going to get a job now. Hmm. That's part of the story, but what you explained to me and what I experienced in New York, this hard, harsh world that we live in is that people, you know, people, when you get to see another human being, like you saw that guy, they are another human being living there their life, their story, in their way. And it was a profound revelation to me to 
that she let me see her. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she let me see her and she was so much more than that homeless woman on the street. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about this city. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, mm -hmm. as that man. So thank you for sharing that because it reminded me of uh, somebody I met and I bet you she got a job. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have a question for you, Len. I think that's a really beautiful story. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, I agree. Someone just put in the text, you should write that one down. Uh, someone just had a comment, and I, I agree. And just to, to build off of it, though, um, what if, um, so, you know, everyone is our teacher. I hear you tell that story, and I ask myself, can you do what you did for her, can you do that for yourself? Uh, you really go to the gut, don't you? Yeah. That's that black thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what we do. No, um, but no, but uh, honestly, you know, you know, I, I mean, I, so we take that we take that story and it's a beautiful story and it's a beautiful interaction you had. And because we're in watch we work right now, I, I just have to ask, yeah, can you get can you do that to yourself? Can you take yourself to the store and let Lynn get anything she wants? The, the cake, the cigarettes, whatever, you know, the the wine or whatever. I don't know what kind of store it is, you know. The fancy it's just piece of stuff, you know. Huh? It, it's just, you know, the AMP at that time, or, you but, know. But, but I'm just asking, could you take Lynn to the store, whatever store she wants, and let her fill her basket with whatever she wants? Do that. I, that's, that's harder for me. I, I'm not sure I've learned how to do that yet. Well, there's a, we're going to jump off of Larry's idea. I'm learning how to take myself to the store. And when I take myself to the store, I'm learning to give myself anything I want. But there isn't much that I want. I mean, you want to finish what you're writing. You want to learn how to organize. <laughs> Come on, girl, please. I'm learning. Just anyway, who cares? Who cares if there's nothing that you want? I'm learning to take myself to the store. And when I take myself to my favorite store, I'm learning to give myself anything I want. I'm learning to take myself to the store and I'm learning to give myself anything I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fun. Hey, Lou, how are you? Uh, hey, Zoe, could you unmute Lou, please? Zoe's doing great. By the way, let's give a hand to Zoe. We should... <laughs> She's going to unmute. There you go. Thank you, Zoe. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Um, so this is, yeah, I'm feeling today. I'm feeling today. I'm feeling it. Thank you, Larry. Um, so I got some incredible news about my work and I want to share it. And it's also, I think it's laddering up to all of this because the incredible news I got about my work made me believe in my work more than ever. And that feels really good, but also I'm pissed about it because why can't I just love my own work? Why is this, why is the news the thing? So I think that's going to be my question a little is like the balance between the approval and the taking myself. I'm, I'm picking up so much today. So thank you. Um, 
but I found I can't share it because I asked not to share it, but I want oh. a fellowship for a thing that'll get announced. And they told me that there were 4,300 people who applied and 15 received it. And when I sent it off, I was like, oh, this fucking thing, <laughs> you know, just like sent it in January. And then they emailed me and I opened it and I screamed and my husband thought I was, oh yeah, I was really wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. That is really crazy. Crazy. And I'll tell them more about it when I can, because they were like, do not, all caps. Do yeah, not. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. But I can say the part that it happened and that I'm having this experience. And what I also want to say is what I sent them, I loved. Uh -huh. so I think that was oh, my, first, my first experience with getting recognition on this level for something that I was so like, eh. and so now I'm here and I've work to do <laughs> and my work, since I got this news, like a week and a half ago, the frequency of it, I'm more in this place of, okay, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. And then I'm just finding myself like disappointed a little, like why, <laughs> why does it take some anonymous group of people I may never meet giving me this approval to feel this good. I don't so, know. I don't, so I don't know. Well, that that's, your, that's your question. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, maybe, maybe I've just disowned myself from the group. Maybe it sounds like a humble brag, but it's true. This is how I think, you know, I'm just like, why does, why do I care so much? I don't know. Do you know? It's like, it, 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 yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all are like, keep it simple. Keep it simple. The universe just sent you a letter saying, Lou, good job. And you're like, I don't know why I need the universe sending me a letter saying, Lou, good job to feel good about my work. Stop already. Stop. Hey, yeah, you know, I got a Tony Award. I carried it around all fucking night. And people are like, SOP, I didn't know you cared. Fuck yeah, I cared. <laughs> We feel good. I was up on that stage in a pink dress. Hey, it's okay. I, I was happy. I appreciate getting validation from my peers. No, I don't know the names of all the people who voted for me, whatever. I don't care. Right? I, all, all the two, couple things I care about. I ask myself, you, uh, you can ask yourself this Am I deserving? Lou, are you deserving? If the answer is yes, pass go and collect two hundred dollars. You don't have to. If you're not deserving, then we can. You can sit there and and say shit. I pulled a fast one. They didn't notice, but I feel like shit because there is work that sometimes is lauded that is kind of easy, right? But you ask yourself, am I deserving? If you can say, yes, I am deserving. I put the work in. It's excellent work. I love it. I'm proud of myself. I really worked hard for this. Yes, I am deserving. Yes, get up on the podium. Take a bow. You know what I mean? I mean, didn't you, like Jesse Owens in the Olympics. He's sitting there going, gosh, I don't know. I, what? Babe Ruth, anybody, Venus, Serena, whoever you like, LeBron, whatever, right? Right. You did the work. I've done the work. I'm doing the work. It's you do, you're it's doing the work. Tense. And along the way, there are some prizes. You do the, you're doing the work and along the way you won a prize. Yeah. What's not to like? That's not a black thing, I don't think. That's from another culture. What's not to like, right? right. Don't people say what's not to like? Yeah. I mean, why are we, why are we what, right? Right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. It you just it's yeah, changed yeah. the frequency. And now I'm like, why? You know, yeah, whatever. Mommy, daddy stuff. I'll take it to my therapist. But it's like, I don't know. It made a difference. You know, it's made a difference this week. The difference. I'm doing the I, I, I'm doing the work and people are noticing and it feels good. Yeah, I am deserving. And I guess, again, if when one is not deserving and one would, and I tell people, I have the great fortune in my career, I have always won an award that I deserved. Mm. Always. I'm, I'm never running up there, grabbing something and, and knowing like, oh, shit, I, I didn't work. I just kind of pulled it, you know, no, 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 because I always do the work. So I'm always going to be up there because I did the work and then some 
and so much. Because and why do I do the work? Because I love the work. Because it's fun. Yeah. It's enjoyable. And the universe is just saying, good job, Lou. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I think I think the other big lesson, like I already said a couple of times, is just I sent them what I loved. I think that's what's blowing my mind the most. Just further to Ace's question and your call, like just the like, I just wanted to offer that too. Cause I really didn't think about the panel. I didn't think about who was going to read it. I sent them what I loved. And that just feels like that's the biggest win maybe right now for me. So great. And that's the universe telling you, yeah, keep sending them what you love. Yeah. Don't send them what you think they want to, you know what I mean? No, no, keep sending them what you love. That's what you need to keep sending them. Yeah. And I also got like, I should say this, like four rejections from journals that week, that same week, like, just like, no, thank you. No, thank you. And I was just like, okay, okay. You know? So just to say like, you can't know maybe I don't know you just can't know so you just keep going you do the work or, right or, or you can know you mm. sent them what you love yeah you know, you know what you love I do so just keep sending them what you love that's all you that's that's you know that'll take care of most that'll answer most questions mm -hmm. yeah well I'm choked up thanks us I'll be thanks everybody oh, so proud of you thank you me too Wait for the official announcement. Yeah. I'll great. share when I'm able to with everybody. Thank, Thank you. So much. Thank you so much. Woohoo. Okay. Wow, it's good with the emojis. She's good. She's got a like a yeah. cornucopia of confetti going. And I just want to acknowledge the time. It is 559. Thank you. 5.59. We can like inhale and exhale. And I'll see y'all. Next week, is that right, Zoe? Zoe, let's give a hand to Zoe. She did such a fantastic job. She's also an amazing playwright, I hear. So next time, no, no, no lies, lies. Somebody's lying on you. Well, you're an amazing human. Thank you. And if you have questions of your own, Zoe, and you want to join in, even next time, if you help host, you're welcome to ask questions, okay? Okay, we love you guys. We'll see you next week. Love and blessings. Bye.